Why'd you just shrug your shoulder? Cutting my shoulders. What is 372? Numbers. Okay. And does the 372 correspond to the letters of DRC on the phone pad? It could. I don't, I, I got to look at the phone pad. How do you look at the phone pad to tell? You got to be specific. Sure. Would the two of you go out? I go out with anybody, even you. I'm not asking about me. 64 Echo Hotel <coughs> and 164 Echo. Get back. <coughs> If he said I said it, I said it. And is that true or that not true that you left her home around 5 o'clock? Mm. If you know something about me, I don't keep up with the time or the days. I just go with the flow. Is it your desire to release your counsel at this point in time? She fired. She's fired? Okay. How old are you? Grown. Okay, what does grown mean? I'm an adult. Okay. And when you say you're an adult, what number in years are you? I plead the fifth. Ladies and gentlemen, can I get you? Okay. But you were you had the beef with Kel. Why not say it was Kel? Because I had to convince them. I got to, I got to, I got to make it seem. If I say Kel shot me, they're going to, how you know? I care know where you stay at. So I got I got to I got to come up with something to make them know. Okay, well, Tay being over here, you know what I mean. So I, okay, Tay, I I don't know. Like, but listen, the, you keep asking me. I told you I don't know who shot at me. Okay. When's the first time that you recall meeting Young Thug? Uh, at the studio. And roughly, what about what year are we talking about? Before I went to jail. Which time? <laughs> right. Roughly 14 years. You know. Well, I've been in jail most of that time, so. Did you all speak while you were in jail? A few times. Okay. So your friendship didn't stop once you just because you went to jail? What you mean? I said, I said, I said. Did your friendship stop just because you went to jail? Or Who determined when a friendship start and stop? You had to ask that again because I ain't for sure what you're asking. Sure. I'll ask you again. 2014, 2015. Have you <clears throat> ever... I'll wait till you finish. I'm tired. You and I both. While y'all were in school, did y'all develop a friendship? Nope. Okay. At some point in time, did you ever develop a friendship with Shannon? Yeah. Okay. When was that? Uh... I don't know when, but at one point we became cool. Okay. And when you say cool, what do you mean? C-O-O-L. I didn't ask you to spell it. I asked you what you mean. So you say you don't remember telling him about what happened at the But if he said that I told him that, I'm telling you right now, I told him that. So can you start asking me where I supposed to told Detective Thorpe? Because I'm telling you now, if he said that I said anything about anything, I'm telling you, more likely I probably did. Great. Well, I'm going to ask you about all the things that you talked to Detective Thorpe about. Now, Ms. Coleman, do you have a nickname? You're smiling. Do you have? Do you have, ask me a question? Do you have a nickname? Yeah. What's your nickname? Psycho. Okay. Never met any of his family members? I never met none of his family members. Okay. What about any of his girlfriends? What you mean? Have you ever met any of the people he ever dated? I don't know how he's seen them, but I've seen him with girls. Okay. So you met some of the people that he may or may not have dated? I guess. You said what now? Tell me who you recognize in 380 Yankee. Oh. Me and Coco. Who's Coco? 
You ugly boy right here. Okay. You see Pokey at the club. Christian. You want me to be honest with you? I, I think I just did. I just told you that God and the truth a wet I did from January uh, 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 from 2014 until 20, the 21. Every time they got me, I, they already know me. They already know I got a whole bunch of bullshit to say. I'm going to ask you to refrain from cursing. What? Oh, 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 sorry, everybody. No disrespect. Uh, I'm sorry about it. But. Oh, rules, sir. Oh, rules, sir. Why did you have the gun at Dunbar Recreation Center? I just pleaded guilty to it. Did you tell officers that you were trying to sell that gun and that's why you had it at the Dunbar Recreation? Again, I was going to jail. Did he ever threaten you to give a name? Nah, but he kept asking me to make me say a name and the, you, like how you keep asking me a question. I'm going to say, I'm going to say something to, to answer you so you can stop asking me the same question. Why would I lie to convince them to not go to jail? Right. But well, they don't know that I'm lying. Well, they didn't let you go immediately, did they? Sometimes they let me go. Right. But so I, when the time they let me go, I thought I was smarter than them. Did the detective say that they had to fact check what you said before they let you go? Can you say that again? Sure. Did the detectives tell you that they had to fact check what you were telling them? And, and you know, in certain situations. Right. And so what benefit would it be to lie if they told you that they had to fact check it? Oh, it was no benefit because what they did was they picked and choose where they wanted to take from me. And they still left me in jail. So they came back and beat me in the butt. Okay. Do you not know anyone or you can't see it? Why can't you? Objection, Your Honor. Ask for an answer because you recognize Oh, sir. Why can't you recognize what's in the What you mean? Do you not see it? What do you mean when you said you don't know who I can't recognize the picture. Do you see yourself in that picture? No. You do not see yourself? Your picture blurred. Do you recall telling Detective Gaither in a little more detail <laughs> that you walked up and you tried to dap up Kel, but he did not grab your hand? I'm not walking up down nobody up. Now, do you recall tell? Do you recall... <clears throat> Independently, that after Thug told Kel, beef ain't over with until you pay for my window, you shot my window, that you told Kel what you told Kel? Yes. What do you remember telling Kel? Yes. So you told Kel, yes? Yes. So was that your Instagram account back in 2015? My Instagram account is Woody vs. Woody. I asked back in From 2015. From back then, I think my Instagram account is the same account to, as it is today. Okay. Woody vs. Woody. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure. I, this, I don't did so much time away from society. You asked me about I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to answer these questions. I don't really. A lot of this stuff you talking about, like, I don't. I'm, I've been through too much to be trying to remember certain stuff or these questions you asking me. Like, you you, you discombobulated me up here. Like, you want me to lie? You want me to tell the truth? One, I, I can't tell you the truth. If you sitting here, you want, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what, I don't know how to answer these questions. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what y'all got going on. Like, for real. Like, you asked me about 2015, what somebody said to the investigators. You know what I mean? Investigators try to question me about this? Yes, and we're going to talk about a few. Can you tell the jurors what occurred at the Dunbar Recreation Center? I was playing basketball. The police came and locked me up. And why did the police lock you up? Because I'm Woody. Did you have a gun at the gun bar right here? I had a basketball in my hand. You said you consider yourself 372. What was 372? It ain't for you to know. I'm going to ask you again, Mr. Copeland. What was 372? 372. Was that a game? What, you what do you define as a game? Mr. Copeland, 
I'm I, I'm, I can't answer your question if I don't know what you're talking about. Were you, was it you and a group of people a part of 372? And what's a group of people? Are you married? Nope. Are you in a relationship? Nope. Right. Do you have children? You know that. Okay. I do, but the jury doesn't. Do you have children? Yep. All right. How many? More than one. All right. Do you have more than three? I might. Ain't no ten. Okay. That's perfect. That's fair. Do you have two that you know of? Yeah. All right. And how old are your two children? The same age. What's that? I don't know. Y'all been having me in jail so long, I can't recall. Okay. Were you in jail on Friday? Prior to? Yeah, I was in jail Friday. Were you in jail on Thursday? Thursday came yet. No, last Thursday. I felt like it. What types of things would you do with sex? What you mean? Did y'all go out? Did you go to shoot dice? Did you go to the club? What type of things did you do with Things young black men do in the neighborhood. I don't know what young black men do in the neighborhood. So what is Try it? to survive and stay away from the police. Did you do anything else besides trying to survive and stay away from the police? Yeah, get locked up. Remember or do you not remember? I told you already. I don't remember. You keep asking me. So if you don't remember, just say you do not remember. I object. Your Honor, I'll ask. I'll, I'll sustain the question. I'll sustain the writ that you. Your Honor, then I'll ask. You can instruct Mr. Copeland if he does not remember, just to say he does not remember. Mr. Copeland, just answer the question to the best of your ability, okay? I thought I did, Judge. You're, you're... I told her I don't remember no conversation I had with. She trying to cross me up. She trying to say this and that when I, I don't told her. I don't, I don't told the police anything they wanted to hear for them to. And she keep asking me over and over. You're going to have to answer the question, sir, okay? About how old were you all when you took this picture? I don't know. Do you have hair on your head when you take the picture? What you when you took the picture? It looked like I got hair on my head. Okay. How long ago have you been bald? I got out of prison. Okay. So this is before you went into prison? This is an old picture. And that's what I need to know. Thank you very much. When you are addressing or talking about them, how do you distinguish the two little D's from each other? What you mean? Do you call one of them little D from Cleveland? If you ask me, if you ask me which little D I'm talking about. And that's what I'm asking you. When you are but talking you about... But you should that. Mr. Copeland, which little D... I don't remember what I said to him. Do you recall? Because at that point, he had put too much pressure on me and, you know what I mean? You recall telling the detective that? I guess. I don't, I don't, I don't remember what I said to him. Do you recall? Because at that point, he had put too much pressure on me and, you know what I mean? I'm just thinking, because he, he told me, I remember him saying he want that gun. That's all I remember him kept saying. He want that gun. And when you say putting pressure, what do you mean? Same thing you're doing to me now. You keep putting pressure on me. Do you see Shannon in the courtroom today? Well, I got a vision problem. Okay. I can't see that far. All right. So if you want to stand up and look around the courtroom and tell, look around the entire courtroom, tell me if you see Shannon in the courtroom today. You need to sit down? Nah, I can light here. I ain't had any drink. Okay, do you want some water? You gonna give me a drink? I'll get some water. I don't drink water. Well, I don't have nothing else for you. But I will put up some water up there for you. Who am I looking for? Shannon. <laughs> I think I see him. Okay. When you say you think you can have a seat, 
When you say you think you see him, what do you think he's wearing? Look like he's wearing gray over there. So who are you pointing to over there that's wearing gray? I think the lady got red hair. Okay, so you pointing to a lady and not Shannon? No, the one behind her. Okay, so you're saying you believe that the person behind the lady with the red hair is Shannon. Is that what you're saying today? Well, it looked like it. Okay. Does anybody else over there look like Shannon? Yeah, Okay, who's the other person who looks like Shannon over there? He's standing behind the bald head dude right there. He's standing or he's sitting? I sit down, I guess. Okay. What's his hairstyle? Bald head. So you're saying Shannon's the one with the bald head? Or he's sitting no, behind he's him? he's sitting behind the dude with the bald head. I think that's him. Okay. It's two people with dreads. I can't see. The, I just see dreads. Okay. And again, are you the only person sitting in that interview room when when outside of Investigator Gaither and Gaither? Excuse me. Outside Investigator Gaither and Investigator Dennis. Unless you don't count the ghosts that's in there with me. Okay. Um, you have permission to approach? Mm -hmm. Hey, Judge. Sir. I'm hot. Can I take this sweat off? Okay. Do you remember telling Detective Gaither in this January 28th interview that thug said, nigga, I don't care about none of it. What, look what y'all got going on. You still shot at me. Just pay for my window. You gonna pay for my window. Hey man, I ain't letting that go. Yes. Yes, you remember thug saying that? Thug said it. Are you saying, yes, that's what you told Detective Gaither? I know I, I know I ain't complete school, but I, I think I'm speaking proper English. I told you, I don't recall nothing I said to no police. You keep sitting right here asking me the same question over and over and over and over and over. I'm tired of it. I'm drained. Okay. Well, if you would just answer the questions properly. I am answering the question. You ask me, I say yes, yes. You keep, when I say yes, you ask me the same question over and over and over and over and over. But you, did you just tell the court and this jury that you're saying yes just to move the process along? I think I said it loud and clear. So again, will you just answer the questions and we can move the process along? You keep asking, okay, yes. Is that, what are you answering yes to? Your question. Good morning, Mr. Good morning. You have permission to approach? No. She's asking me that, Mr. Copeland, okay? All right. Okay. Um, counselors, you. Do you recall at all talking to this detective about <clears throat> what happened that Monday night at Club Crucial with you and Kel, the, the fight between you and Kel? Uh, I don't recall nothing specific that me and him talk about outside of the shooting with my child. Oh. <clears throat> and I barely remember some of that stuff. You, you talking about some years ago when I don't even know what I did <laughs> three, four days ago. Right. Yes. Yes, you remember telling Detective Gaither that? I don't remember what I don't told the police. Let me ask you this. Are you just saying yes now to speed up your questioning? Most definitely. Okay. You ask me about questions that I was supposed to be asked back then that I if I say something, you're gonna say, Oh, I might impeach him or whatever you whatever the word is you use. When I don't know, I can't, I can't answer that. Okay. Do you recall telling your girlfriend when it was just the two of you, I did when he jumped out the car. I know exactly who I saw. I don't, I don't, at that point, it was so much pressure on me. Yeah, I'm, 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 you know I mean, I'm a daughter crying, trying to take her to the hospital. Uh, somebody pull up on me soon. I, I, I'm trying to figure out what made me have the gun to go to the hospital. It's all type of stuff going through my mind. I don't know. I, too much so going on. Yeah, I can't because she keep asking me these questions and. <sighs> Mr. Coleman, just take a breath, okay? We do need to take down your testimony, so you do need to speak a little slower, all right? Okay? All right. All right. <clears throat> it was something investigated right there talking to me, but when he looked and seen who I was, 
he called somebody, then they went to jumping out the sky, coming out the bushes, every which way they questioned me right there. I don't know who it was they questioned me. Earlier, I asked you about whether you were concerned about being labeled a snitch. Do you recall telling Detective Copeland? Detective who? I mean, excuse me, Detective Copeland. Detective Curry. Now I'm a detective. I was I made a mistake. Correct. About, do you recall telling Detective Gaither and Detective Dennis that she was present at the pool party um, that occurred prior to um, prior to the shooting on the highway? Uh, I don't know. I guess. Do you remember? Do you not remember? I don't recall. What I'm trying to tell you is our conversation was about something that I said in the past. I understand. I'm asking you. Yes. Mr. Copeland allowed to finish his answer. Okay. All right. Well, I thought he was Mr. Copeland, do you need to finish your answers? No, I need a break, young. Say again? I need a break. I was asleep. Okay. At some point, did you wake up? I had to. I'm here today. All right. 